Okay, so our next option, we're going to look at the anaconda choke. This is uh, very commonly seen in things like the UFC, a lot of MMA fights. They call it a gator roll in, in the commentary, uh, but a really good uh, option to use and really good to connect up with this head and arm series. So we need to have your arm in guillotine, your uh, dash choke, and the anaconda choke all together. So we're going to start off with a basic setup for your anaconda choke, and then we can flow between all three chokes in the next video. So, same again, from this uh, position here, we have our front headlock. Now, what I'm trying to do with Tyrone here is I need to roll him all the way through. So I've got to take his elbow off the ground. I've got to remove his post first. So we connect our hands. I'm going palm to palm. My elbow is going to close in this space, lifting his arm off the floor, and my head will drop underneath Tyrone. Okay, let's just switch this way real quick. So, I'm making a grip here, pinky in, so that the blade of my forearm can pull his elbow in. So I go pinky down, lock in from this point, my head comes under, and I roll to my hip. This will bring Tyrone through onto his side. Now once we're here, I extend both my arms in opposite directions. So I'm making an X with my forearms. So my left arm, the one that's underneath, needs to come up nice and high towards his armpit. Here. Just really fixing that grip, just like we did in the dash choke, bringing that bicep to his neck on the bottom side. And then my right arm will extend through. Now I can close up to get a super tight on a corner choke. So we have this palm to palm grip. We extend both and close. So essentially going from here Straighten it up, and coming back into that choke. So, we have our grip, our elbow comes down, I bring his post off the floor, I can even start to walk in the opposite direction, to then bury my head, roll through, extend, and close. If I feel any form of resistance and this elbow is open now, and my arms aren't doing its job, that I can lift my hips and use my knee to bring his elbow back into the choke as well. So I raise up and pull the arm in again. Now, just like we did with the dash choke, any arm in choke, the closer our feet are together, the tighter the choke will be. But don't uh, try to get too caught up on that idea. I don't want you guys trying to walk up all the way to the half guard and then begin to lose the choke. The choke is the priority. So as long as we get to here and this is tight, I can squeeze. And it's finished. Let's go one more time here, guys. <coughs> Just twist this way a little bit.